I'm Karis Mai, the rank 1 Kane in North America, at a challenge jungler, and we're here to talk about how Riot reworked Lethality. So basically, what the rework does, it's going to give you a much stronger early mid game, because it is now flat penetration instead of scaling. So, it's going to be a lot, a lot more snowball-y, which I personally am a big enjoyer of. So, let's get to it. There's also a lot of new Lethality items to kind of work with. Let's see, where's that one I was just talking about? Is it, where's it? called hex agus is that what you guys said hex agus wait no where is it where's hubris oh they disabled it no they disabled it okay yeah there's this item called hubris that's really cool i mean we still have zoomies which is like a new lethality item it's like the other half of yumus and then yumus kind of split in two where it just kind of gives you the uh movement speed how it you know how it kind of was and then you have what is this this is the dashes and self stack energize 75 percent faster Okay, so that's going to be good for like auto attack champions like Rengar. This was an interesting I saw. This could be really good for Ross. But yeah, basically, you're going to want to stack a lot of Lethali items. And you don't really need to worry about like armor pen. So you don't really need to think too much about like, you know, is Eclipse armor pen nowadays? What, what is Eclipse? Well, I know Grudge is still armor pen, but you're not going to have to really worry about armor pen items. I kind of forgot that Eclipse was still an item. I wonder if there's ever a situation where you build Eclipse. Hmm, hard to say, but either way, let's get to it, boys. going to do a little full clear up well not a full clear actually we're going to do a three camp up and see if we can like try and spam some ganks wait it's Cassante versus Cassante. yeah we're on the pve right now so we're doing these uh form games that's how i'm playing in, in season 14 right now i probably will be able to gank that i mean I feel like Cassante sets up pretty well for Cassante, right you have this new train to work with. I feel like ganking is so much easier with Kane. Gotta give like a little ganking tutorial soon. Because I have been finding a lot of success. There's so much different like avenues that you can find. This guy walks up, he just dies. I'm gonna wait for my Cassante to get his Q. Okay, so right here. Should be able to stay on, right on top of him. Nice. Huge! Okay, gonna bomb my reset here. We're gonna go double longsword and try and rush our team map. I know you could go D blade longsword, but I just don't think you need to do that. If you ever have like a bonus, like 150 gold, you can. Or, oh, it's 250 gold. You can always get the uh, the moat. Gives you a little bit of ability. So that's not bad to get for like an early game. Looks like Hecram did the same path as me. Did like a three camp down. I did three camp up. So. I wonder if he's yoked my blue. Oh, he didn't. Okay, sweet. This means I could probably get the uh, bot scuttle right now. Yeah, stacking Lethali is going to be really, really nice this patch. Or, this season. I feel like a lot of people are going to enjoy playing Assassins again, because a lot of people miss out on that early burst. They kind of hated the idea of, like, a scaling Lethali. Now that it's more flat, yeah, it just gives you so much more potential to, like, a snowball. It'll be interesting, though, because the game is kind of in, like, an anti-snowball meta, but I think it actually kind of counteracts the anti-snowball meta when you actually factor in, like, the terrain. And like the new objectives like there's always things going on so having like a really good early game where you're just like one shotting over and over really sets you up for like making the picks to set up for objectives so i'll probably try and get my tiamat before this objective here because i love rushing tiamat we definitely will get it so i want to go for like a bit of an early reset i can and maybe look for another gank top and then we could use that kick top into getting the uh the grubs that's my favorite objective to rush right now i think rushing the grubs is Guarantees you so much pressure in the mid to late by like just being able to get towers. Honestly, I would say in this current state, if you guys play like any bit of PvE or season 14, just prioritize the grubs over the dragon and you will find a lot more success. Because the thing is, if if you get those grubs, if you get all them, and you get that global uh, effect to where everyone just is able to nuke towers, then it just adds so much side lane pressure and it gives you so much opportunity to look for like alternate avenues for the dragon spawn. Basically, you're just going to be getting so much gold that people are going to like have to match you, which means that you can just get prio for the dragon. Even though I know that Urlathali is better, I still do want to, uh, what do we call it? Rush Tiamat. Because Tiamat, the effect with it, just helps you clear a lot faster. I'm actually just going to look to rush this, to be honest. And look at Tiamat when you're doing the grubs, it's so much easier. I always like to save Smite for like the latter half, so like the second or third one. So I don't really want to my third one here. 
Yeah, as you can see, I'm just trying to uh, kill these as smoothly as I can. And then we're just going to smite this last one. Sweet. And the XP you get for those grubs, I think, is pretty valuable for, like, what you're actually getting out of that. The gold isn't, like, anything to brag about, of course, but, you know, obviously, it's more for the effect, and the scaling effect, and it spawns, what, every four minutes? So, next spawn, we get that. We just have so much to work with in the mid late. That's kind of like how you snowball your early advantages. And I can get a tier. When is this coming live? Uh, next season. So when the season's over, there's going to be preseason. This is what it's going to be. And then, uh, yeah, when the season starts, you're going to have this to look forward to. So it's pretty cool. What's the buff? So it pretty much just helps you, like, take down towers faster. And the uh, full stacks pretty much gives you, like, a... Is it, like, uh... It gives you, like, the little voidlings, I believe, right? So... Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's my Swain. Okay, I got scared. Uh, that effects the effect structure increased by each stack. That's the void. Oh, just stacking up to help you take down towers faster. Then you get little uh, little void links. Help you out. Pretty cool. There's no preseason anymore. Wait, is there no preseason? That's true. Did they announce that? That'd be interesting. So we do, did we get the same Baron as last game, or do we have to wait till 20 minutes till the Baron like spawns to see what how the Baron's gonna be? Does it kind of work like Dragon Soul, like whenever you get the two dragons, it changes the map or what? Three season lasts like a week. Wow, really? Really? Great move by Riot. Holy, that's insane. Are you kidding me right now, dude? Common Riot W. That is crazy. Look how many orbs I get for this. One last orb with the team at. No, I had to. And look, I got form off that one fight. <laughs> you get so many extra orbs with the team at, boys. You get so many extra orbs, bro. Alright. So right now, we're just going to try and finish this uh, this item. We're going to get our lovely Brutalizer. I'll get some Billy Ace. Why not? It's honestly so cool that they added a little 250 gold item. I know it's like kind of like meaningless, like five of Billy's is like, yeah, that's, what is that gonna like do for you? Like, not really too much, but it's kind of satisfying, I guess. It's kind of satisfying, right? Just to get that, just have it sitting there, chilling, doing its thing. Yeah, so because we have the Tiamat and because we have the Aerie, look how fast I got my form and look how fast we're gonna like actually be able to get the next objective. How are they gonna ever be able to contest the next objective? Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like a kid in a candy shop right now. I, I cannot stress you guys enough. This is this itemization was the best Kane has ever been, and now they made it better. Because if you guys remember back in season 10 with Tiamat Manamian, that was the strongest Kane ever was, or at least Blue Kane ever was. And now they added Lethality to Tiamat. Isn't that crazy? And now they added more objectives, so you can play strong or weak side. So the versatility of your champion is crazy. The Lethality was like what it was before. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Instead of like having that weird scaling, it, now it's just like a flat. When you. Oh! Thank you. That was really funny. I'm not gonna lie to you. Adam Gazante. <laughs> I will not yield. So, auto reset with Tiamat? Yeah, you auto Q, same time. Or, uh, sorry, sorry. You auto Tiamat. Auto QT mat. I don't know about auto resetting actually. If you mean like this, you could do it like that. And like auto Q T mat and cancel the auto like that. Unless you mean like some interaction that I'm forgetting. Or like actually cancel the exact auto animation, then I don't know. Because Kane, you're always going to be QT matting, so. Oh, we can kill this little mage guy. Look at the walls, dude. What do you do about that gank, by the way? If you're, if you're this guy. They actually made playing the game so much easier for Kane. This is what you call fan service. This is for all the Soliki grinders. This is fan service for all the Soliki grinders. To make Kane a giga OP champ. Gotta back up here. I don't team out auto. Yeah, I don't know if you can do that. I haven't tried it. Oh yeah, grubs, grubs, grubs. Yes, ping me on that. I, I... No, he's yoinking the grub! Oh no, he tried, he tried. He's not getting those grubs. I'll give up my entire bot side. Dude, it's gonna be so crazy. I cannot wait because just imagine like how like focused you have to be. You have to be like so 
Like, okay, I can't give up my bot side. Gotta make sure I get the grubs. Gotta make sure I'm watching for the dragon. It's gonna be so much more focused and so much more like... Like, dude, I don't know. This is exciting. This is really fun. Alright, let's get the grubs. Yeah, right here, like... If I was up against, like, a challenger jungler, they would probably hard evade my bot side get dragon. But I think it would still be worth for the grubs, like, low-key. Yeah, so now we have, like, a giga passive. So, you're just gonna see my laners destroy towers. And look, you can get it three minutes before the tower plates go down. So, I, I'm telling you right now, if we killed Cassante, we would, what do we call it? We would easily be able to just have our Cassante get the tower for free. Especially if he has, like, Demolish. Jesus. Especially with new Hallbreaker, too, because Hallbreaker literally works like Demolish. So, imagine you have that. Dude, Imagine you're a champion that gets, like, Hallbreaker, and you have Demolish in your runes, and you get the Grubs. Your top lane actually seems like it's gonna be Giga Broken. Top laners rejoice, boys. We're gonna be so happy. Yeah, we get our tier 2 boots now. I think the only rough part about this is that, uh, not having your free boots and whatnot is kind of a, of a problem. I would love to take the Inspiration Tree, but I feel like that Ingenious Hunter Tree is just so good. On PP? Yeah, this is on PP. That's how I'm playing on the, uh, Season 14. Oh my god, yeah, that damage is... By the way, if this was back, Paris baby. Mine, it would unironically... Oh, I'm too game. slow. No boots. What game is this? This is a new game. Yeah, see, there's the little uh, Void Links. Uh, does she know that we're gonna dive her? Yeah, look, the little Void Links took the, took the tower for me. Alright, so let's see how fast we, we hurt this tower right now. Jesus. Jesus, dude. Just destroy towers. Because it's true damage. They're dealing true damage. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. That was barely any Voidlings right there. And that was before Rift spawned, guys. That was before Rift spawned. When Rift spawned... Just charge the tower and one shots another tower. Like, dude, the effect that you could have. Dude, this is so crazy that this is League of Legends. This is like a whole new game. Like, this is like. I always joked about League 2.0, but this feels like League 2.0. But not in a bad way either. Like, this is like. Because, like. They, they, they got rid of Mythics, which is a great idea. They had a lot of cool changes. I don't know, I actually really like this. I feel like it's gonna be really fun to play. So far I'm having a good time. Imagine Belveth. Yeah, dude, imagine Belveth. Jesus. So many towers, or so many champions are just gonna destroy towers. You're gonna need above towers, I feel like, right? It's funny because I can already tell like the changes that they're gonna need to deal deal with. We we'll probably kill both uh both people in mid lane air with this item. Oh whoops, I missed my uh my ability there. Look how look how much damage I deal. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. That's one item. That's one item. Think about when I like actually get my power spikes. I get like mana and when I get my other items like zoomies. I want to test out that statue item, but right now it's disabled in PB because it's freaking bugs. Hello, Hecram. Hello, horse boy. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, the flat lethality. Kind of nuts. Yeah, this gives you. Lethali, if you don't know. But junglers are going to have the best, safest clears. The same as before. I feel like clearing is just the exact same. Clearing isn't really too different. But the thing is, it's like, you have to just watch out about more avenues of getting invaded. That's what I'm really interested in seeing. Like, the junglers that can invade. Because look at this. There's like two different areas that you have to watch for. Isn't that so awesome? You have to watch here and here. So imagine the early invades. Dude, early invading is going to go crazy. I'm going to be so, like, paranoid on my bot side for getting invaded all the time. Then they made gank a little bit, like, look at how, like, these gank avenues. Everything's going to change so drastically. It'll be cool. Alright, let's get rift. Any attack damage and 4% movement speed. And that's pretty low value item, to be honest. 4% movement speed. It's not that good, but... Just like a follow up. Maybe, yeah. Oh, 
Let's get Rift. There's no way I waste the Rift three games in a row, right guys? This game I'll actually use the Rift properly. I'll show you how it's done. I like how they got the Rift ideas like uh, as, as an idea from Nexus Splits. Like the uh, little catapult thingy. Or not the catapult, the um... Is it the catapult? I don't know. I forget what they call it. But they kind of got the idea from that. I feel like they should have changed Rift, like Rift damage. One, it's really easy to do. Two, the animations are kind of lame. And three, I feel like it's like way too squishy. Missed my W pretty hard there. Oi! Exhaust really messed me up over there. If I had Zemis, I could have got out with that extra mess. Nice. Get him! Uh huh. Nice. Huge. Explain scaling Thali and flat. Well, flat is just you're getting what you're getting. Scaling was like, it, it took a while to build upwards and then it would eventually outweigh the flat, but it was like a pretty kind of a counterintuitive idea. It was pretty much like a flawed design that kind of like went against the ideas of Thali, but basically what you're, you're getting more bang for your buck in the early to mid game. Later on, you're not getting as much value, but I mean, you're not really supposed to go later on. Playing, uh, all right, let's see. We're not gonna mess this up three times in a row. So you can actually control this 100%. Zoomy is item. It's kind of the other half of Yumu's, right? But look. Ah, see, boys? That's how the rift works. And look at how many little void legs you get. <laughs> is that awesome? Oh, yeah, now we just get the tower. I'm telling you, man. You just destroy towers. You got two towers of one rift because of the grubs. Shout out my grubs, dude. Shout out my grubs. I'm telling you guys, if you play this, please just prioritize the grubs every game. They're so, they're so cool and they're so like OP. I'm just gonna invade now. Finally starting to get some like real damage. So we're probably gonna get our enemy into Axiomark. Nice. I'm just gonna stay on the map. Yeah, as, as the game goes on longer and longer, because of your, your tier and your uh, your Tiamat item, I forget what it's called. What's it called? The Profane? Profane? Because of the Propane and the freaking uh, tier, you're uh, able to stay on the map longer, so that's kind of the incentive. So early game, you could reset kind of often, like, okay, reset on Tiamat, reset on tier. And then uh, after that, you can kind of stay around for longer, but, but like for this, you, you're, you're really incentivized to stay as long as you can. Propane's like one of the most broken things I, I've I've seen for Kane. It's freaking awesome, dude. Like I, I just can't believe this. I, I feel like I woke up in like I don't know. I woke up in like an alternate dimension that Riot just loves Kane mains. For this item to be as OP as it is and still to have that same interaction as I had before with Kane is kind of nuts. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this fight. There's just like a whole whole brawl going on here. Go inside her. Finish that off. Zoomy's passive. Yeah, so Ingenious Hunter is really gonna help you. Well, wait. Oh, you have, you get uh, you get those Rift recalls too. That's interesting. Okay, so now I'd get Manamian, right? Probably Axie Mark. Wait, so how long do you get the Rift recalls? Does anyone know? To get in the Rift? Is it once? Is it one use? Oh well. GG. Hope you boys enjoyed. It's out YouTube. Woo!